Well, welcome Jane to uh, South Oxford Community Centre. Um, and I know you've been showing and working here for some time now, so perhaps you'd like to tell us a little bit about the paintings that you're showing uh, during Art Weeks uh, this year. Oh, this is a bit of a departure for me. I was um, in the lockdown, of course, uh, thinking of new things, new ideas, and I did some flower painting. Uh, a friend sent me some flowers. I wasn't expecting them. I was totally surprised. Uh, and so I just set about painting flowers, and it became you know, quite interesting. Uh, I, I, it's not something I normally think about, but uh, I did find it very, very interesting, particularly with the glass and the water and shapes around them. Um, and you're finding um, a, a lot of interest in observational work. Uh, uh, yes. One thing that, that your work is about is, is you don't work from photographs, no, uh, you don't work from source, other sources of material. It's, it's all about uh, working directly from... Whatever's art, in front of you. And, you yes. and also you've been attending a lot of life drawing sessions and running them, I believe. Yeah. Yes, yes, I do a session here um, on a Monday. Um, the, uh, I go to, uh, we do some on Zoom, twice a week on Zoom. And I also go to Sunningwell Local Art College for a Saturday group with a model, which is quite good, yeah. And you've been painting sort of full time since when? When, was, when did you, would you say was the beginning of your... For about 10 years. So about 10. Um, yes, when I left full time journalism and I decided to do more painting. Um, and what would be the tip you would give to people if they were, say, starting out on that in the same way as you have? Uh, what, would, what, what would you say that would encourage people to work from observation, work from life or portrait? What would, what would you say are the benefits of that over working with photographs or... Um... Well, you're taking something in three dimensions that's living in front of you and you're making that into two dimensions somehow or other by the magic of painting and drawing. That is the skill. Yeah. And uh, the way you render it, and of course, you can use it as a subject to express your feelings and ideas. It doesn't mm. have to be taken literally, mm. uh, but you, you need some skill, I think. It's not like some people sit down at the piano and expect to be able to play it. I mm. think you need to study the mm. subject. Mm. Now, I understand, too, that one of your paintings has uh, gone on a little journey recently to Coventry. Would you like yes. to say a little bit about that? Yes, it is. Um, I, got, I was very lucky to get a painting into the Ruth Borchard uh, self-portrait exhibition. It happens every two years. I've never been able to get in before. I was lucky this year and it went on and on and on, round after round, and I finally was in the selection to go to Coventry Cathedral, um, where the exhibition is now on, starting on Monday, the um, 17th of May. It's on until July. And it's a painting, self-portrait, of me wearing a visor, a plastic visor. Uh, I was really struggling and wondering if how I could paint that because I hadn't painted plastic before. Anyway, it worked out okay and yeah. people really liked it. Mm. And of course it was exhibited here at, um, uh, uh, at Christmas, but of course very few people saw it. Uh, I'm hoping that the painting will actually come back here and we will be exhibited again probably next Christmas when hopefully we will all be without these masks and, uh, and things will be back to normal in some some respect but uh but it was a lovely portrait uh i i was thrilled to um see it and uh, here and it's one of my favorite uh, paintings i've seen here for a number of years so it's really good and anyway well thank you jane for telling us something about your art and we really look forward to seeing lots more of it over the years and thank you for all that you're doing for the center in in bringing art to uh you know to lake street and uh, well, this is a wonderful place. It is a fantastic place, I absolutely agree. And uh, thank you for your support of it. And we just encourage other people uh, to uh, look at observation and work from observation because there's such rewards in this. Uh, I think we both of us sure. realize that as a, uh, me as a painter, too, working directly from uh, the subject is so much better than uh, squaring up a photograph. And when you see at Arts Week, you see people doing plain air work and they're out in all weathers at all times of the year and they really right. produce that, really good that, things. That's absolutely right. Well, thank you, Jane, very much. Okay, thank you.